know I said final, but don't worry. That just means we have something even better coming up next month in June. That's right, it's now time for our summer reading program. That means so many more exciting things to do here inside the library. And yes, you heard that right, inside the library. We are going to have story time here inside the library. We had it in the park, we've had it recorded on the camera, we've done it live online, so many different ways, but now we are finally coming back into the library. So stay tuned a little bit later in this story time today, and I'll give you all of the information for our summer reading program. But first, we have to start with some songs. Yes, let's do two songs. We have a hello song, and then we have, I think we're gonna do our dino song today. You guys ready for it? Okay, here we go. We're gonna practice our hello song. Remember, we do it in ASL also. So we're gonna say hello, and we're gonna make like a little salute like this. And then we're gonna say friends. We're gonna get our fingers, and we're gonna hook them together. And then when we say time, how do we tell time? Like if we have a watch on. We're gonna point to it. And then when we say, we're gonna use the word say. What do we use when we talk? Our mouth, so we're gonna point. We're gonna say, and then hello again. All right, you guys think you can do it? Here we go. Hello, friends, hello, friends. Hello, friends, it's time to say hello. Good job, friends. Okay, make sure you guys practice that because we're gonna be doing it for our summer reading program story times. Oh, it's gonna be so great. I can't wait to see all of you guys. So make sure you guys practice it at home so when you come in, you can show me and we can do it all together during story time. All right, we have, um, I think, our dino song. Do you guys wanna do a dino song? I think we do. I think we did Roly Poly before. I think we did Zoom, Zoom, Zoom. We've done so many different story time songs. But I think today, we're gonna do our dino song. Yes, who remembers the dino song? Anybody? Anybody remember? It's okay if you don't remember. I'm gonna show you right now. Are you ready? All right, here we go. We're gonna pat. Can you guys pat your legs? Just pat. Here we go. Hungry dino walking down the street. Singing dino diddy diddy dum diddy do. He's looking for something good to eat. Singing dino diddy diddy dum diddy do. He's big. He's strong. Won't be hungry very long. Singing dino diddy diddy dum diddy do. Singing dino diddy diddy dum diddy do. Good job, friends. Good job. Okay, make sure you practice that because. I don't know if we're gonna sing that during story time here in the library, but we might. You never know. It's gonna be different every single time, so make sure you practice. Practice really poorly, practice zoom, zoom, zoom. Make sure you practice all of them because we're gonna do them all together. All right, let's do our dino song one more time. Here we go. <gasps> Hungry dino walking down the street, singing dino diddy diddy dum diddy do. He's looking for something good to eat. Singing dino diddy diddy dum diddy do. Here we go. He's big. He's strong. Won't be hungry very long. Singing dino diddy diddy dum diddy do. Singing dino diddy diddy dum diddy do. Good job, friends. Good job. Keep practicing. All right, friends, for our super short, super sweet story time, we now have a book. It's a new book, so you guys can check this out. You'll find it on our new shelf here at the library. It's called How to Hug a Puffer Fish. Do you know what a puffer fish is? It's this guy right here. Have you guys ever seen that before? I'll tell you, I'll give you a clue. He starts out small, but if you startle him or if he gets scared for any reason, or maybe upset or some kind of strong emotion, he puffs up real big and spiky. Let's read about how to hug a puffer fish. We wanna make sure we give a big thank you to our friends over at Simon & Schuster for giving us permission to read this book. Here we go. <gasps> Look, he's right there. Do you see him? Do you see him? Can I get close? Maybe, possibly. So, you wanna hug a puffer fish. Look at his friends want to hug him. 
they want to hug him? <gasps> Who could blame you? Those big old bubble eyes. Look at those eyes. That gap tooth grin. Oh, look. He's so cute. <gasps> the spotty skin like moldy bread with mustard. Not so, not so appetizing, right? <gasps> could anything be cuter? Look at that guy. Bubbly eyes. Gap tooth. Gross mustard skin thing. I don't know. There are so many reasons to give a puffer fish a hug. It could be that puffer fish has just come back from a long trip. Then you want to give him a hug, right? Just came back. Oh, he just came back. <gasps> Maybe puffer, puffer fish has just won an award. And you want to say congratulations. Those are all really great reasons to want to give him a hug. Or maybe Pufferfish is your very best friend and you really want to show you care. There's only one teeny tiny thing to consider. What should we consider? Zoom. <gasps> Look at Pufferfish. He was so tiny. What happened? <gasps> Never fear. Pufferfish might welcome a hug from you under the right conditions. First, pufferfish doesn't like surprises. So you can't sneak up on him. You can't, it's like surprise. You can't do that. <gasps> Why? Look, he's, he's trying to give him a surprise. He's sneaking up from behind and then boom, he got all big again. He puffed up. Oh, loud sounds startle pufferfish. They start, so you can't be loud either. Look, look at our little, our little um, starfish, he's making a loud sound. And then what happens? He got all big again. Don't tickle or poke pufferfish in place of a hug. So instead of giving him a hug, don't, don't poke at him. No, no, what do you think is gonna happen? We know by now, right? Oh, pufferfish, he's going away. And if things go badly, Give pufferfish some time to de-puff. Do you know what that means? De-puff? D means no, so no puff. Means he's gonna, he's gonna calm down, he's gonna shrink back down. He's gonna get all the puffiness out of him. Give him some time to de-puff before trying again. Even if you love hugs, pufferfish might prefer something different. What do you think they would prefer? Hmm. Let's, let's see what he might like. Oh, Pufferfish would like to see you coming. He doesn't want you to sneak up from behind. You gotta come from the front. Oh, look, see, they're waving. They're waving to each other. Oh, Pufferfish would like to be asked for a hug first. So make sure you talk to Pufferfish. Don't just give him a hug or he's gonna froom. He's gonna get all big again. Look, it's a bottle. May I give you a hug? Pufferfish would like your hug to be slow and gentle. Don't just like big old bear hug, Pufferfish. No, what's gonna happen? Can he say it at home? He's gonna get all big. Oh, Pufferfish might even prefer a high tail, like a high five. Can we high five? Yeah, we could do that instead. Or a fin shake. A fin shake, they don't handshake, do they have hands? No, they have fins, they're gonna fin shake. And you never know, pufferfish might show you a different way to say I love you. What did he do? Pufferfish, he made, look, look at the heart with all the stuff inside. He made pictures of all his friends. Now, if you wanna hug a sea urchin, that's a whole different story. Look, the sea urchin, he wants hugs. Can you hug him? He's kind of spiky. It's a whole different story. The end. Oh, such a great story. How to hug a pufferfish. Remember, it's a new book, so you're gonna find it here on our new shelf. Yes, our new shelf with all of our new easy books. So here we go, how to hug a pufferfish. <gasps> Such a great story. All right, friends, 
that is, we are coming down to the end of our story time. Remember, they're super, super short, super sweet right now because we're gearing up for a summer reading program. And speaking of which, our summer reading program. It starts in June. It's only a few short weeks away. Yes, a few short weeks, and then we can have so much fun for this from for the summer. We have book lists to keep. We have we gotta keep track of our reading so that we can get points and get free stuff. Free books. We have merit badges. So many things to look forward to. So make sure when you guys come to the library, you keep a lookout for our June calendar. Yes. It'll have all of the information that you're gonna need. It's not out just yet, but make sure you keep a lookout for it. And then we'll have more information on our summer reading program also. And grown-ups, our summer reading program. Don't forget, this. you gotta write it down in your calendar so everybody can prepare. It's for all ages. Little bitty babies, little medium babies, our toddlers, our preschool, our tweens, our eight to 12 year olds, our teens, and yes, our adults. Summer reading program is for everybody. And make sure you get a pencil. Here we go, grown-ups. Summer reading program runs June 13th to July 22nd. Yes, June 13th to July 22nd. So make sure you jot it down. That way you guys can start right on time and do all of the activities. We're even gonna have performances every weekend that you guys can watch from home. But you have to be signed up for it in order to watch those performances. Sign-ups aren't yet though. Sign-ups are, are back in, are in June, not back in June, ahead of time in June. Yes, so you can't sign up for it yet, but you have to be signed up if you wanna do the activities and if you want to watch the special performances. Oh, it's so great. Okay, friends, we're out of time. Miss Sarah just likes to jibber jabber sometimes, but we're out of time. We have one final song and then that is it for this super short, super sweet story time. But don't forget, We'll be back for the summer for in-person story time. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, here we go. If you know this song, stand up nice and loud. Sing it with me. Here we go. We had a good day. We had a great day. So pat yourself on the back. We had a good day. We had a great day. So pat yourself on the back. We thought a lot today. We learned in many ways. So kiss your brain. We thought a lot today. We learned in many ways. So kiss your brain. If you had fun today, then please say thank you. You are all very welcome. If you had fun today, then please say thank you. You are all very welcome. So we'll say so long and end with the song until I see you all again. So we'll say so long and end with the song until I see you all again. All right, friends, thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget, June 13th to July 22nd, we will have more information in the coming weeks for our summer reading program and all of the activities and programs that go along with it. So until I see you guys again, bye. Thank you.